Okay, so this is why I'll never buy shoes online again because of these. They look all fine and dandy, but <laughs> that is not the case. So what I thought I was buying was like another version of these. These are the Nike Epic React Fly Knit, I think, number one. There's a number one and a number two, but anyway, the important bit is that they are the Nike Epic React shoes and they're so light and comfortable. I just feel like I'm not wearing anything like on my feet when I wear them. And I love the sock design. Like it just like fits like a sock on your foot. Surprise, surprise. Yeah, so I really like that design. Ooh. And that design is only like their top of the range shoes these days, like the Alpha Fly. Um, so unless I want a shoe that's, you know, like a race day shoe and not going to last very long, like durability wise, then that's it in terms of like the sock sort of design. Anyway, so really love those shoes. You can see just how like well worn they are. I have been wearing these for years and like well past the point of like cushioning and support in here. That's, that's all gone, but they still feel amazing. So I was really impressed with them that I wanted a second pair. I went to go, I think, have a look, see if they were still for sale. They were not sold in the shops anymore. So I was like, you know what? I'll probably be able to find a pair online somewhere, like the dregs. And that way, when these ones are eventually dead, then I'll be able to continue wearing them it, like I'll have a second pair basically. So that was my idea why I wanted to buy shoes online and these were advertised as uh, as far as I knew the same, just in a different colorway, right? Same like sock design, like they look really similar. You know, slight design differences. They're like very similar designs. I thought I was getting more of the same, essentially, but no. And half the issue is I waited so long to like wear them properly because I just thought they were like the same. Like I'd have no problems with them. Boy, was I wrong. I was stupid and I washed these and it ended up shrinking them a smidge. And now they're just like a bit uncomfortably tight. I've continued to wear them, but it's not being pretty. Um, my toenails are paying for it, so yeah, <laughs> um, let's just not say any more than that. Yeah, so which is, you know, finally led me to wearing these in and I thought, you know, like I was wearing them in, I'll just like give them a period of time, like I just need to wear them in, then they'll be comfy. No, I've definitely worn them like a few times now, they're definitely like past the point of being worn in and I've never had to wear in shoes either, so that's a red flag. Anyway, just the other day, I, it like hit me like a ton of bricks and I was like, you know what? These are, these are not it. They're just not, <laughs> they're not what I thought I was buying. And I'm not saying that they're not genuine cause I, I don't know, I can't verify that. But I'm just saying that this is why I would never buy shoes online again. Because I was not even like a kilometer into my walk and I started getting heel pain. Not heel pain, sorry, arch pain. Like pain in the arch of my foot. I've never experienced this type of pain. Oh, only when you get like a foot cramp. <laughs> Can you guys see that? Ruben clearly wants to be in the video. So here he is. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so not even a kilometer into uh, walking this guy, um, I started getting this arch pain and I didn't really think too much of it. I was like, I don't know what I thought, you know, just carried on. Oh, it got worse. And you know what, it's, it was a dull pain. So I just like carried on and I think we walked like five kilometers that day. The day after, like that night and the day after, oh, my arch of both feet was so sore. And yeah, I was like, yeah, you know what? I can't wear these. I can't wear these. So basically, I paid like $200 or more, I think, for these shoes. I'm like, they look fine, right? They look good. But I'm gonna have to chuck these out because they're just causing me arch pain, which I've never had in a pair of joggers in my life. 
but here I am with this arch pain that was really bad like it carried on into the next day so I, I just don't think I can do these anymore and I wrote to the company that I bought these on online let me double check who it was I had to dig through my emails but I found it um, it was from Kix Crew and like I don't want to blame them and I'm not saying they're not authentic because I'm I don't know but you know it's just not a great situation not a great experience I had so you know I just won't be doing it again maybe it was a slightly different model and this model did give me arch pain but you know I can't find anything online about it about other people getting the same thing but anyway we're all individuals and shoes fit us differently so anyway I wrote to Kix crew and I told them about the situation but I didn't have the original tags or the box or anything so I couldn't like I'm not eligible for a refund and I get it like it was it was a whole year ago since I bought them so you know the time of exchanging exchanging returning the time of returning because they're defective I think is over so yeah I'm just glad I didn't buy more because I was like you know what I want to buy if I buy more pairs then it will um you know make the shipping the unit price cheaper, the shipping cheaper per, um, <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> per, per shoes. Yeah, but they actually only have a limit of one pair anyway. So anyway, that was odd. But yeah, <laughs> he wants to play. I would just feel more comfortable going into a store, trying the shoes on. You could take them back to the store. But again, like I said, I think the problem was I took too long to like find out that they that I had this issue they look like I you know I've had a good look at them and they look exactly the same you know they've got this like tag thingy that you know my other ones do they and the QR code and everything so I don't know like they look genuine to me they look really good quality and everything but yeah, just the experience I've had has been confusing, to say at the least. So, I guess part of mitigating that risk is I'll just buy shoes in store from now on. I'll try them on on my feet. Not that I could probably tell these were going to cause pain, like arch pain. But, like, at least you can, like, I guess that's the other part to it. Test the shoes out in the first month of getting them. Test them out. Excuse me! Mm. Let me know if you've had a similar experience. Maybe you bought shoes and they were like obviously not genuine. <laughs> Maybe you were like, hmm, yeah, no. But these look genuine, so it's just been a very confusing experience. Yeah, I'm gonna go. Have a good day, evening, night. Bye. Mm -hmm.